Hey guys, Steve Collins from The Joint Physio here. So now we're going through our force creation in our plyometrics continuum. So these here um, is basically going from that one amortization phase, so that transition between an eccentric load and a concentric to start that explosive kind of work in that muscular tendinous unit, and really just making sure that the muscular tendinous unit can handle kind of creating a high level force and one eccentric kind of ground contact of landing. So these will involve your broad jumps, your vertical jumps, any kind of single leg, single hop, um, that type of exercise, box jumps as well. So that's what we're going to go through here. One of my favorite to get started is a seated broad jump, okay? So you start off sitting down and you explosively land. Again, those movement strategies that you worked on previously are carrying over to this. We also have our seated vertical jumps, okay? So, again, whatever movement strategy you've decided that they need, so it could be a stiff one or it could be absorbing it a bit softer, okay? Same, we got our single leg versions of those same movements, okay? Same as our hops. Cool. And then the humble box jump, yeah. The thing that most people get wrong with this is setting a box that's too high, which means that the person is actually landing and not working on trying to get their hips up as high as they can. Instead, they're trying to just flex their knees. So what you don't want to see is a box so high that they have to be landing with their hips low. You want to be trying to get your hips up as high as you can, okay? So aim to get your hips to go higher in the center of mass. So that there is our force creation uh, continuum.